Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this Good Friday devotion. You probably know that there was a kiss on Thursday in the Garden of Gethsemane when Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss. But did you know that there was also a kiss on Good Friday? The first kiss was a kiss of betrayal. But the second kiss was a kiss of reconciliation. It was the most important kiss in all of human history. Well, let me explain this to you. One of my favorite Good Friday verses is actually from the Old Testament. It's from a prophetic psalm, Psalm 85, that is foretelling what would be accomplished through Jesus' death. And in Psalm 85, verses 10 to 11, David says this. He says, Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Isn't that beautiful? Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. And he says, Faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. So verse 11 says, faithfulness springs forth from the earth and righteousness looks down from heaven. He's saying that we see God's faithfulness springing up from the earth and we see his righteousness shining down from the sky. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth just as, as spring flowers emerge from their winter sleep. They are a picture of God's faithfulness. Blossoms in the spring, crops in the fall, year after year, decade after decade, century after century, reminding us that we can count on the faithfulness of God, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth. And God is telling us something through His creation. He is speaking to us in ways that are bigger than the limitations of words speaking in a language that everyone can understand. Romans chapter 1 says that since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. But the good news of Easter is that even though we are without excuse, we are not without pardon. David says, faithfulness springs forth from the earth and righteousness looks down from heaven. Now, what is righteousness? Righteousness is alignment with God's divine order and will. God's righteousness, His order, His will and wisdom are put on display in the night sky as the stars shine down from the heavens. Psalm 19.1 says that the heavens declare the glory of God and the skies proclaim the work of His hands. They are kept in place by God's sovereign will and the strength of His hand. Isaiah 40 says, lift your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all of these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls them each by name because of His great power, and His mighty strength, not one of them is missing. And we stand awestruck by His creation, stopped in our tracks by the immensity of His power, the, the, the beauty of His plan, the certainty of His wisdom, and the order of His design. They are pictures of His righteousness, His divine order, his divine will for everything he has created. The laws of nature point to God's divine order of things. And that's why David says, righteousness looks down from heaven. In other words, the heavens reflect God's divine order. So what does all of this have to do with Good Friday? It is God's righteousness, that order that demands a penalty for sin. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. The penalty must be paid. Justice must be satisfied. There can be no peace without it. 
Now verse 10 in this psalm says, Love and faithfulness meet together. God has always been loving and faithful toward us. But our relationship with Him is broken. Heaven and earth are at war because of our sin. So in God's love and faithfulness, God devised the plan for our redemption. The plan whereby righteousness and peace will kiss each other. And what's the plan? The righteous God of heaven will become a man formed from the dust of the earth. God in human flesh, heaven and earth coming together in Jesus. And so Jesus, the Prince of Peace, the righteous God himself in human flesh, stepped down from his throne in heaven, stepped into our brokenness on earth, and stepped forward to offer himself in payment for our sins, to satisfy the righteous requirements of the law. Jesus willingly suffered the agony of the crucifixion on Good Friday because he knew what it would accomplish, the end of our war with heaven. The Bible says, for the joy set before him, Jesus endured the cross, scorning its shame. And in that moment, on that cross, on that Good Friday, the price was paid. All was forgiven. Righteousness was satisfied. An eternal peace accord was signed through the blood of Jesus. And righteousness and peace kissed each other. That's why Jesus said, it is finished. And now as the Bible says, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Love and faithfulness came together. Righteousness and peace kissed each other at the cross on Good Friday. And that's why I said it was the most important kiss in all of human history. I hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend. God bless you.